In today's video, I'm going to talk about a 20-week investment strategy that involves buying 200 shares of a stock called TQQQ and selling at the money covered calls on a weekly basis. TQQQ provides 3x leverage exposure to a modified market cap weighted index tracking 100 of the largest non-financial firms listed on the NASDAQ. I chose TQQ for my test because there's a lot of implied volatility and the premiums for the option contracts are quite high. Before I get into all of this though, I want to make sure everyone understands that I am not a professional and I am not 100% confident in what I'm doing here. This is just one man trying his best and this is not financial advice. So with that in mind, let's get into it. I want to begin by taking your attention to this chart on the right. The gray line on the left side represents the past 20 weeks of price history. The six different multicolored lines on the right side of the chart represent the six different projections that we are going to study. These projections were taken from the price history and with a little math and a little work with Excel, we were able to factor them in here so the price action would you know, correspond to the current share price. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. Now that we've zoomed in a little bit, on the left side of the screen in columns A and B, we have 105 weeks of price history and the respective percentage change. So we use this to grab our 20 week little samples. So let's scroll down here and show you what I did. So from 91 through 71 was the 20 week sample that we wanted. We take that and we post it in column D here because what we have to do next is take that 2781 number where the share price was at the beginning of our sample and divide it by the current share price that is today because we need the numbers to be right for our projection. So that number comes to 0.8851, you see it there, and you need to take the share price, each week share price from the sample and divide by that number to get the um, numbers to correspond to the current share price. Is that making sense? So you do that for every one of your samples and it allows you to produce the chart that we saw a second ago. I forgot to mention that the premium calculation was based on the average premium being five times the current share price. I use that number because I've been watching the options chain for the past several weeks and the average premium for an at the money covered call is about 5.3 times the current share price. So I used five as a conservative estimate and it makes the math a little easier. So not only do those numbers allow you to make the chart, but they also give you the numbers you need to run the calculations and get the results. I'm gonna show you the results now. I have run the numbers on four of the six lines here, and I'm gonna show you what I have so far. So let's start with this yellow line right here, which is a pretty sideways with a little bit of a bullish tendency. So keep in mind that we will be investing 200 shares at 3142, and that's gonna to amount to $6,284. The average share price through this duration was 172.5, and since there's gonna be 20 weeks, we're going to be selling 20 calls, we multiply that by 20, your premiums are gonna be 3450. So we write that down. Now you will lose 68.31 shares due to contracts being exercised. And that's the tedious part of the calculation because you have to go through every week, how many percentage it went up and then put in some numbers in the calculator. It's just tedious to go through, but suffice to say, you would lose 68.31 shares. So you would have 131.69 remaining at the, the uh, share price at the end of the test, which would be 31.73, and that's gonna amount to 4,179. Um, taxes at 10%, that's a low tax rate for um, earned, I think it's like earned income for people who make f less than 50,000 a year. Um, if you're doing this for yourself, you gotta make sure this number reflects you know, what your tax rate would be. But 10% of that premium, it would be a 34, I actually wrote that down wrong, but well, whatever. Um, $345, that's gonna make that return for smaller. But in this case, the baseline, if you just held 200 shares would be 6,346 and the return would be 7,284, which is obviously better and the strategy would have been good in this uh, case. So now let's take a look at series one or the dark blue line, which is a pretty sideways, but then getting bearish at the end and ultimately closing quite a bit lower. So the baseline, would be $4,834 if you just held your shares versus if you did the strategy, $6,210, which is um, 
a very small loss from the baseline, but much better from the um, invested, but much better than the baseline. Light blue, the most bullish scenario, resulted in a return of $9,737, which is a very good gain from the initial invested, but admittedly not as high as the baseline. When the market goes really bullish, you will be exercised out of your shares more quickly, but it also means that you know, you're making a profit. So I'm not... I mean, it's cool that the baseline outperformed here, but I'm not. I, I'm fine. Yeah, anyway, I'm babbling at this point. Okay, so the gray line, the worst case scenario, and this is where I really, really like this strategy because it is good at protecting against losses. So, in this case, your baseline would have deteriorated all the way down to two thousand and seventy dollars, value of two hundred shares at the share price of. Uh, 1035 and the return which is the premiums you made plus your remaining shares three thousand two hundred twenty eight dollars so based on the data i have so far this seems like a pretty advisable strategy i think you know although time consuming you have to test it in more scenarios but here we have a good representation of a very very bullish scenario a very bearish scenario and then four realistic um representations of possible price action so then it just sort of begs the question is there any conceivable sort of movement that would make this strategy not conducive a particular sort of zigzag that would negate it and as far as I can say I haven't found it yet I'm gonna keep studying it and if someone watching this knows more about this than I do and wants to give me advice or tell me what I'm doing wrong please I do not want to waste my time I'll also accept free lessons in how to use Excel because that program's kind of complicated, man. <laughs>